There is, in general, apathy for Christ. There's apathy. Apathy is, well, I don't really care. Passion is powerful. We look at the Apostle John and what he did, and the Apostle Peter and what he did, and we look at the testimony of all the disciples in the Scripture, and what you find is you find a soul-stirring burden to win the world for something, for someone, an excitement. And, and man, it's just, it, it changed the world. Literally turned the world upside down because of his passion. You know, the people who do things in America on a secular level are not the ones who are the, the proverbial, what do you call them? Oh, bump on a log. They're the ones out there who are who are the pace setters. They're the market makers, the ones that get out there and, and hustle. Those are the ones that get it done. And when we think about our purpose in life, when we think about our goal, what is the end result? What's over there? The way that I get from here over there is not by staying here. It's by, it's by moving along a line and being excited about something and having passion when it comes to when it comes to faith, when it comes to purpose, what is it that all these men had, had in common? They were moved by God. And essentially, they all saw God's miracles work firsthand. They could see God, and they, 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 had a, they, they, they felt Him in their life, and they were moved so deeply by it that they couldn't stand still. And isn't it true? Even to this day that when you experience God in your life, you are moved passionately.